current ED, I mean, we suffered the growing pains. This emergency department was built to see 27,000 kids. Last year we saw close to 87,000. We made do with what we had and always felt like we were putting a band-aid on things to, to serve the community. This new space at Phoenix Children's will allow the best care possible for our children. The doctors, the nurses, the staff at Phoenix Children, they are truly amazing people and gifted in what they do. The thing that I'm most excited about with the opening of the new emergency department is the ability to take care of even more injured kids than we're taking care of now. The new design process was interesting. Um, they got the ED staff involved from the very beginning. The process involved going to several different hospitals throughout the country and looking at various designs until we basically found one that met the needs of all of the feedback that we had received from both employees and patients. The Level 1 Trauma Center at Phoenix Children's Hospital has been very lucky that we've had the support of our EMS community from the very beginning. The new emergency department, they actually physically moved a road so that we could build a ramp that can hold, I believe, six ambulances simultaneously with their own separate entrance right next to the trauma base. Also, just the fact that we are directly below the helipad now, as it stands at this moment, if those kids come in, they have to be brought down an elevator 11 floors and then taken that quarter mile through hallways uh, to get to our trauma base. Imagine doing this while you're on a gurney doing chest compressions trying to save the child's life. So having the new trauma department basically right under the elevators is going to be beneficial in terms of golden hour and taking care of these sick kids. We can get children from the helipad to the emergency room, from the emergency room to the CAT scanner, the CAT scanner to the OR in less time because now they're all so much closer. It's important to incorporate and involve staff in the planning and design process because they're the ones that actually work the space. In this new department, we won't have any time constraints on our space, so we'll be able to get to those patients and families quicker because they won't be waiting until we can open other areas. To now see what I consider to be a state-of-the-art emergency department about to open with all the ancillary stuff that goes with it is just a very exciting time. In the new space, there's internal corridor and an external corridor. The external corridor is for the patients and families to walk down. The doors are numbered in a way that makes sense to them, and also there's no windows in the door, so it protects every family's privacy. So how it's set up is really critical and having efficiencies that the new emergency department offers so that physicians and others can access the patients easily is really important. And there's only one level one pediatric trauma center in the entire state. That's Phoenix Children's Hospital. It turns out that a level one pediatric trauma center in the state lowers the mortality by more than 38 percent. It's a huge impact to the entire state of Arizona will reap rewards in terms of patient satisfaction and staff satisfaction. Definitely feel a sense of accomplishment when you walk through the new space. It's important to know and read what families and children are going through. That's why Phoenix Children is just a very special place. I think we all know that, but... <laughs> this is an amazing undertaking for Phoenix Children's Hospital and couldn't have been done without the donors and the community support that we've received. September 20th, 2017 is really a special day for Maricopa County when the new emergency department opens. There is no greater feeling than to be part of the greater good. I love Phoenix Children's Hospital. <laughs>